Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I just gotta say, it feels so good to be back in the makeup chair. I actually haven't filmed a makeup tutorial in about a month, which is the longest I think I've ever gone without filming a tutorial for YouTube. So it feels really, really good to be back. I feel refreshed, I feel reset, and I feel inspired again. So I wanna point out something really quickly before we get into the video. You guys are gonna see a audio change because our mic sucks, guys. Like we have this mic that is so great and i don't know what happened but it just stopped working on us one day so we had to actually go back to our old vlog mic and it's been working great but then during the video seb has actually picked up the piece that broke and fixed it so you guys are going to see the audio change so i really apologize for that in advance also my ac is blasting because it is so hot outside um where we live in the valley it is so hot out here but anyways it feels so good to be back guys i'm super excited you guys are here i hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and without further ado let's go ahead and get into today's video uh really quickly before we start if you guys hear like some it's my ac it has been so hot lately over here like i'm talking over 100 and something i'm used to the heat but it's like hot 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 so ac is on full blast right now so i'm sorry if you guys can hear that in the background but i don't know i'm worried if i don't have any ac on and i don't want to melt i'm gonna start off by applying my favorite eyeshadow base from p louise this is the original base pro in the shade rumor 02 and as always i like to pat it just right on the lid and then work my way up i feel like it's been so long since i've done like an actual eyeshadow look i've been on the neutral vibes lately comment down below if you guys like more neutral shades i'm talking like bronzies and browns and warm tones or if you guys like actual color you know, I like playing with both. I really like to mix it up, but I feel like when you don't play with a lot of color in a while, it's kind of a little scary. You're like, damn, how do you do this again? How do you blend again? Like it really makes you question your blending skills. All right, base is on. So next I'm gonna take in the Caliente palette from Artist Couture, and I'm gonna start off by going in with the shade Fuego, which is kind of this pinkish orange color. And this is gonna be the main color you guys see, but there's gonna be a lot of blending going on, so just be prepared. You're gonna see me go back and forth a lot. So what I'm gonna do is take this right in the crease first and just kind of apply it where I need it. And now I'm gonna take in the 502 brush from Morphe and I'm gonna start blending the shade out. And then just going in circular motion, taking it to the outer corner of my eye and then all the way up. I'm gonna go in now with a little more fuego. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and tap Fuego kind of towards the middle of my eye. And I'm doing that to just ensure it's really nice and packed on. And then now I'm gonna go in with that large Morphe 501 brush. And then lightly just go over that crease color and go out. So now I'm gonna go in with Fuego once again and then start taking it into the inner corner of the eye. Now I'm gonna tap into the color Cultura. And I'm taking in a pretty big fluffy brush. I kind of want it to be a little big because you're just going to roll it over Fuego. So right at the crease, I'm just going to start going over. And this is kind of what's going to make it look a little bit more orangey. It's going to also soften it up. It creates like a really like mangoniada color. The orange, yellow, and it's like that in-between shade. Now I'm going to go back in with Fuego and repack it on the eye again. It's crazy because as beautiful as this looks on camera, it doesn't do it justice because I feel like the camera doesn't pick up oranges and yellows that great. Comment down below if you guys have ever filmed with an orange eyeshadow and you're like, wait a second, it looks so blended in person, but on camera it can look a little choppy. So if you guys see any demarcations, I assure you that it's very blended. It's just sometimes the camera doesn't pick it up too well. It's like blending is really crucial with these kind of looks, but always just kind of like look at it on camera, look at it on here, and then go from there. So I went on camera and added a little bit of glitter. I don't know why I did that. I don't think it was a move, but I'm stuck with it, so <laughs> ignore it. Now I'm gonna move into the shade Mamacita, which is gonna be a magenta hot pink. It's so, so pretty. And what I'm gonna do with this color is actually pack it right into the crease of my eye. All right, so there we have it for the eye. Again, like I said, if you guys see any areas that don't look blended, it's just the way it's picking up on camera um, because I'm telling you all right here, it looks really, really good. So now I'm gonna grab some of my P. Louise base and I'm gonna add this right in the center, just like that. And I'm gonna pack the color going this way. And then now I'm just gonna pack it to the side. Kind of make sure it's nice and blended and then it looks a little crazy, but uh, what you can do is actually get like your ring finger or even like a brush and just tap it in 
Sometimes it's so much easier with the finger because you're able to move the base around. Now that I blended it out, I'm gonna grab a little bit of mamacita and go right at the crease. And this is just going to even it out so that there's no crazy like line of demarcation that the base is ending there. And that is that. Now we're gonna move into this stunning shade called Veal, and we're gonna pop that right onto the base. Right before I get to the top, I'm gonna spray my brush with setting spray. And now I'm just gonna go and press over to ensure like all the particles are like set on the eye and there's not like any of them floating around. I pick up a little bit more of my masita and hit it on the sides. And you can see I'm holding the brush like pretty far back so that it goes on just really lightly. And there we go. A few moments later. <sighs> it was not recording. Oh my god, when did it stop? I did a whole wing liner. It was never recording. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, um, for my wing liner, I went in with the House Labs liner in the shade Punk, which is the black shade. For my mascara, I went in with this one from Smashbox, which is called Super Fan, and this is like a great lash. It just comes through every single one. I really want to know when the hell I stopped recording. So for my lashes, I'm going to be going in with this beautiful pair of lashes from Beauty Creations called Daydream. This is like one of my favorite lash styles at the moment. You guys go from short to end. So I like to just add this first right to the end of the lash. And then from there, I'll adjust the front. So I'm gonna grab Brio once again. I'm gonna pop this right into the inner corner of the eye. All right, so here is the finish on this eye. And I actually decided that I'm gonna redo this one. I know, I know, but I messed it up. I did the liner way too thick on the side. I went up too high as well. It's been a while since I did my makeup, so I'm just gonna redo it again. I know, I know, but guess what? I'll be back in a blink of an eye and I'll be done. So I'm in the middle of fixing my eye and Sebas just got back from the store. And we're gonna do a mic switch. We've been having so many mic issues. I don't understand what's going on. It's like every week something happens to our stupid mic. Hey, there you go. Holmes. And yeah, Sebas is gonna fix it right now. He's about to change it out. We've been using actually the vlog mic and it's actually working pretty good. It's been in the last couple of videos. All right. But this one right here, it's like, major improvement all right so here is the finished eye and i have to say it looks so much better i went way too thick on the liner before that and then i ruined it with like that little glitter stick sometimes it happens and it's okay thankfully it's makeup it's easy to come off one thing i want to say is that my eyelids were not stained at all which is really rare when you're wearing any kind of pinks or reds on the eye your eyes can tend to stain i had no stain at all so very impressed with that. I'm gonna try out today a new primer. This is from Too Faced and it is the Primed in Poreless. It's a pore banishing blurring face primer. So I'm pretty much going to add this right onto my T-zone area. Kind of looks like this, like a nude shade. I'm gonna add it where my pores are a little bit more enlarged, which is the T-zone. Oh no, I already did makeup up there. Shit. With anything that claims to be pore banishing, I actually like to press it into the skin versus like rubbing it really in. So after I like put it where I need to, I just push it in to ensure it's really in there. So next I'm gonna go in with my current favorite foundation at the moment. I'm obsessed with this foundation. It's like one of my favorites and that is from Lorac and it is the Soft Focus Longwear Foundation in the shade Medium 9. I don't know what it is in this, but I like it so much on my skin. So I'm gonna add it onto my brush and I'm gonna just start tapping it on my face. Really full coverage foundation, but it feels very, very lightweight when it's on. I've been wearing this most of the summer and I really love the way it looks. Another one of my favorites is obviously the NARS Natural Radiance. You guys know that's like a holy grail of mine and I will always love that one. This one is very similar to that with a little bit more coverage and a little bit more of a matte finish. Natural Radiance does leave you a little bit more dewy while this one is still dewy, but on like that soft matte finish. It's just so pretty. And I'm buffing this in with my favorite brush. This is from It Cosmetics. I always tell you guys, I have the best complexion brushes. You guys, I have literally the dirtiest mirror in the world. Like, why am I even looking in this? So, there we go. Foundation is on. Now I'm going to move into some concealer. And, you know, I'm kind of in this weird place right now where I'm playing with a bunch of different ones. And I kind of just always go back to my favorites. My favorites are... NARS Natural Radiance. I love the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. I still love Tarte Shape Tape as well. I really like the e.l.f. ones. Like I have like my favorites that I go to all the time and when I try to change it up to something a little bit more lighter coverage or something that's 
just softer. Oh my God, it just sinks into my skin so much. So I try to avoid anything that's like too hydrating, too glowy underneath the eyes because I find it to just like move a lot. Um, so for that reason, I took to some that just are a little bit more long lasting. Um, so I'm gonna use my favorites from e.l.f. This is the 16 hour camo concealer in medium sand. You guys, I have said this so many times, but e.l.f. is for sure one of like my favorite affordable brands out there. I don't have too many uh, favorite drugstore brands, but they are like in the top three, if not the top three. Yeah, e.l.f. is killing it, guys. They've been launching really good stuff, so I'm into it. All right, so now the concealer's on. I am gonna go in with my beauty sponge and I actually use the e.l.f. one as well. I raved about this one to you guys many times and I have not gone back to a beauty blender since. Like here and there, if I can't find it, I just pick up a beauty blender, but I like this one so much better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press the concealer on. You guys already know how I do it. I like to just kind of push it into the skin and then work my way out. I'm really back into like the filming mood again. I feel like I took like a little break from doing makeup tutorials. Sometimes you need a break, you know what I mean? Like. I've been doing tutorials now for, I've been doing YouTube tutorials for four years now, but like overall social media, I wanna say it's been, let me see, 12, 13, 14, I've been on social media for like eight years now. I started Instagram in 2012. Um, so I've been doing this for a long, long time. And sometimes you just need that break. Like you don't realize you need a break until like you're in the break and you're like, damn, I really need this. I took a little break from makeup tutorials and I never really announced that I'm doing a break. I just do it, you know? You just gotta do it, live your life, live in the moment. And you know, you come back when you're ready to come back. And it was really good because I'm able to like reset my mind. I'm able to be a little bit more creative, think of new looks, think of new ideas. And that's pretty much what I did. So right now I have like a list of video ideas that we plan on doing. Like Sebas and I obviously love doing the cooking videos with you guys. We have so much fun when we do them. We just always end up getting way too drunk. And then the next day we're dying. So we have decided to start pushing those videos for like Friday nights so that we can be hung over the next day if it happens. Um, but we cannot do cooking videos during the week anymore. It just throws us off because we can't do a video without drinking. So right now I have a lot of fun ideas on looks I wanna do for you guys, especially for makeup. I have some good ideas. There's a lot. So. So I'm gonna take in now the Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Honey Glaze. This is one of my favorite cream bronzers. It goes on so nicely. And this is really good for, this is really good for a look like this, but also like a no makeup kind of look. Look at that. As you guys know, Fenty has an amazing shade range. The formula on this is amazing as well. It just goes on so nicely on the skin. It's so long lasting. Just so many things I like about it. So check out these cream bronzers if you guys haven't. I think you'll really, really like them. By the way, this is a KVD brush in the shade number two. I'm gonna go ahead now and set my skin with the new Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Honey. I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but they dropped a new shade and it is everything. So this is the original one, Translucent, and then this is Honey. You can see it's a little bit warmer. It's got a little bit more of a peach yellow undertone. So for me, it's perfect as an all over setting powder. For my under eyes, I still use the original one because I do like it to be a little bit more brighter but this is like the missing shade that was needed in the setting powders it's great for anybody with the olive warm or golden undertones anyone can use this from light to deep skin tones if you are on the medium deep to deep skin tone this is gonna be the perfect under eye setting powder from you because of that peachy warm tone under here it's gonna really brighten up your under eyes and it's amazing let me go in my little puff I'm gonna go ahead and push my puff into the powder and what I'd like to do is now Press it on the skin to kind of contour. Then now I'm gonna go in with a large brush and press the powder all around to set the rest of the makeup. And because I'm somebody who doesn't like a whole lot of powder on my skin, because I still go in with the bronzer and a highlight, um, I prefer to work with what I have on my skin versus adding more and more product. And then now I'm gonna go on my under eyes and pop in the original shade. While that's it, I'm gonna do some bronzing. So I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Private Island Bronzer. This is another favorite cheek product of mine from Fenty. I'm gonna go over the shade I just applied on. I'm gonna go work around my hairline, make sure that I look bronzy all over. I'm gonna go in now with Sensual and Mamacita and mix them together to smoke out my lower lash line. So I'm just gonna pop on Sensual first. And honestly, I'm kind of going in on my under eye. I haven't done like under eye makeup in a while, but I'm I'm kind of into it. So I'm just gonna pack it on as much as I can. I'm now gonna go in with my MAC Costa Rich eyeliner and add this to my waterline. This to me, till this, till this day, this is one of the best light brown eyeliners for the waterline. It's really great for any eye color. Has a little bit more of an orangey gold undertone to it, but it's still like a dark brown. 
and it just looks so pretty on. Last time I'm gonna go in with this really soft pencil brush from Morphe and blend it out so that it's not super harsh. Now I'm gonna go in with the brush and dust it off. And we're almost done with this look. We got a couple more things to add on, so I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of blush. This is the one from the new Orgasm X palette. If you guys are an orgasm blush lover, this is like the palette you need in your life. You get the original Orgasm, Orgasm X, which is a little bit more brighter, and then you get the Orgasm highlight. So I'm gonna be adding on the Orgasm highlight, and normally I add blush to like the apples, but I'm actually gonna smile and like take it a little bit more back this time. Oh, that looks so good. And then kind of into my temples as well. Okay. And then I'm also gonna be using the Orgasm Highlight as well, because it is so good. I actually have two highlights, actually three highlights that I'm really into right now. This is one of them. Also love the new MAC X Tiana Taylor Skin Finish. This is like the most realistic, subtle highlight you will ever put on your skin. Like if you're somebody who wants highlight, but you don't necessarily want like a blending one, this is it right here. Um, but if you're somebody who likes it a little bit more intense, I recommend this one. I recommend this whole palette, it is so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust that highlight on. Oh my goodness, to the high points of my cheeks. And by the way, this is a Smith 112 brush. To me, this is like one of the best highlighting brushes. It's so soft and what I like about Smith brushes, I think I actually used a lot of their brushes in today's look as well, but this brush has that worn in feeling, and you know when you have a really good worn in brush, to me it just picks up the color better, it applies it on better, like you already know how it works. So that's kind of the deal with this one. I'm gonna pop on a little bit of highlight to my nose and then blend it out my finger. Wow, this is looking so good. All right, so now we're gonna move into the last product, which is going to be the lip color. And with any kind of bold eye, I personally like to keep the lips a little bit more soft a little bit more muted so that it doesn't take away from the eye makeup look. So the set that I have been really liking lately is this little lip trio from Kylie Cosmetics. It's called One of a Kind. So it has a kind of like a muted lip color, but then it has a beautiful gloss that goes over it that looks so, so pretty. So I'm gonna do this combo and then also add a little bit of matte cork on the you know corners. So starting off with the lip liner, this is again called One of a Kind. So there is a lip liner, and now I'm gonna move in with cork, which is gonna be just a little bit more brown. I'm gonna be adding this to the outer corner of my lip. It's gonna just create a little bit more contrast. So as you can see, the lip liner is a lot darker than the lip color, which to me, I don't mind it, but this is like the cherry on top. It really completes this whole lip color. I told ya. I look like a glazed chocoflan. Lastly, I'm gonna bless my skin with the Huda Beauty Glow Coco Hydrating Mist. And we're done. Lastly, I just pumped a little bit of the e.l.f. body makeup onto my shoulders, I think. This is like the perfect finish for this look. Gives you a little bit of a dewy, wet skin effect and just looks so pretty on. Uh, this one is in the shade Sunkiss, which you guys probably heard me talk about in a favorites video recently, but I love the finish that this gives the body. So that is it for today's video. As always, all the products I use are listed down in the description box below, so be sure to check it out in case you missed anything that I talked about. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Los quiero mucho, and I will see you guys next time.